Hello, I'm Max Sedakrets, the founder of Setopo. Thank you for using Setopo. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Revit and Archicad together, but please also watch the basic tutorials if you have not already. So here I have Revit on the left and Setopo on the right. Now, before you can really use Setopo and Revit together properly, you should get the plugin. You do that by either clicking your name or manage, then going to plugins and choosing the right version, although there's only one option here. And then uh, you will get an installer and it'll just run the installer that will install the plugin. Once you have the plugin installed, you will have here a setup a ribbon with an import button and some other options. So let's go get some Revit data. We have our project here. I'll just select it and edit it a little bit. And then um, we'll find Revit here in the template list. Let's also check a little bit about the settings we have here. We have Orthophoto and uh, we have forests enabled. And let's see, let's check what grids we have. Well, we have a Finnish grid, so let's enable the Swedish grid. And there we go. Let's download this and select a suitable coordinate system. And there we go, we have a Revit file. Now that we have our a file, we can in Revit click import and find the file that we just downloaded. It will be called topo.cxf click open and uh, we'll get some flashy things about families being upgraded. Now the, the plugin will ask you whether you want to import the location and we definitely recommend you do that for an empty project. All right, after waiting a while we have our data. In 2D we can see that um, there's some uh, properties and some other things visible but uh, most of the things will be visible here in the 3D view instead. All right, there we go. We have we have some buildings and all. Let's switch to realistic to see a bit better. All right, there we go. We have uh, we can see now a bit better the buildings and uh, the, there is an auto photo mapped to the terrain very nicely. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And there, there is also you can see the trees have been mapped to family symbols. So if we group these trees and check this one we can see it's actually actually quite nicely there and uh, one nice thing of this uh, tree mapping to families is that we can now for example open Enscape if you have if you have Enscape so if you have Enscape you'll be able to just instantly get it into into Enscape and our trees will also be easily mapped to these very nice looking Enscape trees at uh, no extra effort. So this is a really nice, really nice way to just really quickly visualize how your projects might look. All right, one more thing to mention perhaps is that our project is now configured. So if we go to manage project location, we can see that um, we actually have the coordinate system configured here. And, uh, and if we take this setting, we can also see that the latitude and longitude has been correctly configured as well. And what this actually allows us to do is uh, that, for example, if we were now to, if we wanted a little bit of, of background information, background data for this project, we might Let's just select something like this to get a little bit of, of uh, exterior data. And let's just go and disable some options here, like that one. And yeah, let's download this one now. Let's make sure you get the same coordinate system as previously. There we go, we get a new file. And uh, 
let's import that other file and this time you see the plugin says that the project location is compatible so let's just use the existing location and there we go with these settings we get this simple terrain background there for for our use if we want all right and as you can see it matches quite perfectly with the existing existing model all right i think that's enough about um, about this simple revit tutorial we did not go over these um, forest settings they will require another more advanced tutorial but for this tutorial i think we're quite fine here all right thank you for watching the revit tutorial